Is a 37 degree fever considered normal or high? Hello everyone. Today, we're going to answer a very common question related to our health. Is a 37 degree fever considered normal or high? We'll go through some essential information about body temperature, what is considered normal, and what isn't. Let's dive in. What is normal body temperature? Our body temperature can vary depending on different factors, such as the time of day and the activities we're engaged in. However, the average normal body temperature is generally accepted as around 37 degrees Celsius, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So, if you're at 37 degrees, you're generally within the normal range. What is a fever? A fever, also known as pyrexia, is when the body's temperature rises above its normal range. Typically, a fever is considered to be a body temperature of 38 degrees Celsius, 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, or higher. This is usually a sign that your body is fighting an infection or illness. Is 37 degrees considered a fever? Given the information we've just discussed, a body temperature of 37 degrees Celsius is generally considered within the normal range and not a fever. However, if you're usually on the lower end of the scale, say around 36.1 degrees Celsius, 97 degrees Fahrenheit, and your temperature rises to 37 degrees, you might feel a bit warmer than usual. This, though, doesn't necessarily mean you have a fever. When should I be concerned? While 37 degrees is not typically considered a fever, it's important to pay attention to other symptoms. If you're feeling unwell or experiencing symptoms like fatigue, chills, headache, or body aches along with a temperature of 37 degrees, it might be a good idea to seek medical advice. Remember, your body knows best. If something doesn't feel right, it's always best to consult a healthcare provider. In conclusion, a 37 degree temperature is usually considered within the normal range and not typically indicative of a fever. However, always remember to consider how you're feeling overall and don't hesitate to seek medical advice if needed. We hope this video has been helpful in clearing up any confusion about body temperature and fever. Stay healthy, everyone!